from the series Miscellanea, Sebreo Creative Productions present. You know, there's always a suggestion of successful people telling regular folks that just to go make it, go do it, make it happen. Um, whether it's make a film, make a video, make a painting, um, you know, start a shop or whatever the case may be, just go and actually do what you want to do in life. The only thing that's stopping you from doing what you want to do is you. And for the most part, I agree. Now, this particular series, Miscellanea, is a series from an independent filmmaker that decided she has some stories that she wants to tell. And not finding the right vehicle or studio for a while, she just decided to go out and make, go out and do it herself. Now it's on Tubi, and we get to go ahead and actually judge this for ourselves. This is a comedy, comedy anthology series that seemingly is based largely towards women. The comedy is kind of like hit or miss for me as from time to time, as it is for most folks, because, you know, sometimes you get comedy, sometimes you don't or what have you. And since it's largely aimed at women, I'm going to take the perspective of being a casual viewer for this. Um, that way you kind of know what, what slant or what vantage point I have in this particular review. I think it's always important that you know where your reviewer comes from um, and take that into account when you're evaluating the review. And since this series didn't get much fanfare when it came out, I'm going to go ahead and actually make this part of my Varnell Hill series. And my Varnell Hill series always asks of the audience, Man, Did you miss me? That's right. Did you miss it? That's right. Some series aren't marketed to the masses. Others aren't on top streaming sites. Others are just foreign series that never even get a shot. So you just might have missed them. But I'm out here watching the first two episodes of this type of content to see if it's worth your time. So, if you like how that sounds, do me a favor, click like, share, subscribe. And now, let's do this review. Miscellanea premiered on Tubi in February of 2023. It contains four episodes, each about 30 minutes each. Um, these are standalone stories in each episode, so the characters are different from story to story. So, my expectation as a casual viewer will be looking for interesting characters and stories. The laughs should be relatable and relevant to the story. And, since there's only 30 minutes per story, there shouldn't really be any filler in here. We should be getting right into the story each and every time. Main target audiences will definitely want to relate to the characters. They want to make connections to show relatability. And the laughs, just like casuals, need to be relevant to the situation and the characters there. Very simple expectations on here. So let's see what comes out of this series. So let me lay out the two episodes that I watched. The first one is called Ghost Boyfriend. And this is two girls that discover their apartment is haunted. They hire a medium to extract the ghost, only to discover that he's not a scary ghost. He's a smoking hot ghost. The story is simple, and you can see the comedy in it. There are some funny moments that made me smile. But overall, this episode kind of felt like a mid-level SNL sketch that would have been perfect for about like five minutes. What the filmmakers seem to be conveying here about love and love and life and relationships wasn't anything nuanced or interesting. The acting was okay by most of the crew, but it wasn't something that I'd run and tell people to watch. But it had funny enough parts to be at least mildly entertaining for me, and I could at least give it points for that. The second episode, called Paulette, is the, the story goes like this. Crystal goes on a journey to discover her powerful female sensuality and the right to express it. Set in the backdrop of the pole fitness community. So in this story, Crystal, the main character, has a corporate job. She has a long-term boyfriend who cheated on her and a conservative mom. When she finds out about her, bo her boyfriend cheating, she starts to wonder what does she want out of life and stop, stop, stop asking about what everybody else wants. Now, this episode isn't as entertaining as the first one, and it's not as well acted either. It's very much an important message for women to find their own voice in whatever way they can. It's just that this didn't do anything entertaining story or character-wise to make me care about that message. And the comedy here is pretty much zero. There's, there's nothing funny about it or amusing at all. The best I can say for this this one, and 
I understand this is a very myopic view from, from my perspective, but I'm being honest. As a straight man, there was at least pole dancing here, okay? Not naked or anything like that. It's tasteful. It's a fitness class or what have you. But these women are in good shape. They're doing their thing or whatever. So there's at least some eye candy there. But that's about it for the entertainment value of that second episode. The other thoughts I have about this series are I admire anyone who goes out to put themselves out there for the masses to judge. Heck, I do that every time when I go and actually put a review out there. And I'll bet that these people can act or write scripts infinitely better than me any day of the week. I don't doubt that. So they get credit for effort and vision. And I feel there's at least a message in every episode that at least validates what the filmmaker is trying to put into film. Okay? But let me get to the verdict. I'm going to go ahead and actually say for mains, go ahead and actually watch the first episode. I found it entertaining enough that it could ingratiate you to the rest of the series. You'll definitely smile a bit. And if you find the message in the story charming, the rest of the series might be worth your time as that first one was at least a decent watch for you and it's only 30 minutes long. For casuals, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say this is a skip it. Now, I've got to value time based on expectations and I believe casuals wouldn't get a lot out of watching episode, even episode one. If you want something that's kind of like an anthology series that tells women's stories, I would suggest If These Walls Could Talk or For Color Girls. Those are movies that have anthology stories contained in them that have very similar messages and what this filmmaker is trying to get across. So for mains, I'm going to go and actually say watch the first episode. For casuals, it's a skip it. But that's what I have for Miscellanea on Tubi. Check it out. I appreciate you staying for the entire review. I do. Do me a favor, if you liked anything on here, click like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. Um, you could also go ahead and actually check one out one of these other videos that the algorithm thinks that you might like of mine. But until the next time, I'll holler at you. Take care of yourself.